All right, and there we have our finished product, another delicious dish with a huge line of history in Pensacola. It's gazpacho, and it was made by Angela Walker with uh, Brouhaha. I'm your host, John Scanlon, for the Coastal Cooking Presents Quick Bites. <music>Thank you so much for being on the show, Angela. Thank you. One of the things we're really enjoying about Brouhaha, since we have a Pensacola history theme, is that a lot of the items we have around the memorabilia, it really spurs a lot of conversation between the older generation and the younger generations. We recently had a customer, uh, she's become a regular, Mrs. Mary Mock. She is an East Hillian. She lives in the East Hill area, so she's our neighbor, who shared some recipes with me. And uh, one of the ones she shared was gazpacho. And it's something that actually originated in Pensacola. It is truly the first time it was ever made was in the Pensacola area. The reason why was um, it used a lot of the ingredients that were around uh, a lot in the uh, early, you know, in the 1800s. And one of the things was hard tack. tack. Hard tack is a biscuit that a lot of sailors would make because it can literally last up to 50 years, no kidding. <laughs> and it is hard as a tack. It gets its name uh, appropriately. And it's truly easy to make. Um, we'll have a recipe posted uh, on our Facebook page and on our website, uh, but it's literally just flour and water. And uh, you roll it out and you cut it into crackers and you put the uh, little dots in it. I always use the end of a spoon. And uh, then you soak it. Uh, for about two hours, and it really is not appealing at this point. And this is one of those recipes that you're like, eh, it doesn't look so great, but oh my gosh, does it taste good. <laughs> so after it's soaked a while, you'll actually get the hard tack that's soaked, and now those crackers that were so hard are now mushy, and you actually squeeze out all the water, and you just keep squeezing and keep squeezing. And for the sake of time, I'll kind of stop there, but you would do um, all the hard tack, uh, you would add mayonnaise uh, and some tomato and some Spanish onions, which have a uh, real unique flavor, uh, some green onion, uh, some celery, and you basically just mix that around, and I'm going to do it with my hands. Uh, you know, and it, it you just think like, wow, uh, <laughs> Watered down cracker uh, and mayonnaise and all these ingredients, uh, but truly, um, it's just so tasty, and it really is that simple. And you can plate it. Uh, a lot of the older recipes, there's there's several recipes of this going around. Uh, there's about three or four. Uh, and there's no one wet, right way to make it. Uh, you can uh, serve it in bib lettuce. Uh, now we have the benefit of all kind of neat uh, lettuces and heirloom lettuces as well. Uh, but this is truly a delicious uh, gazpacho, not gazpacho, uh, truly original <laughs> Pensacola dish. You can also layer it in a mold, which is how I did on the one that you saw. And then when you turn it upside down, let's see if it'll work there. Uh, you know, it comes out nice and nice and pretty, and you can also plate it that way. But again, get your hard tack. Uh, Put all these ingredients together and you have a delicious summer salad and one that really reflects the uh, history of Pensacola, which we're all about at, at, uh, at Brouhaha. And we're so enjoying uh, the older generation that's sharing a lot of their memories of Pensacola, uh, including great recipes like this. And you can get that recipe on your website or on Facebook at Pensacola, Brouhaha, Brouhaha Pensacola. Brouhaha Pensacola is our Facebook page and also on our website, which is BrouhahaPensacola.com. And then also go there and try this in person at a fantastic restaurant with great decor. And that's Brouhaha. It's located at 2435 North 12th Avenue, right in the heart of East Hill. And this is going to be one of those recipes where we have a neighbor come and share it. So you'll actually be able to meet Mrs. Mock in person. Uh, she grew up in Defuniac Springs and went to Walton High School in 1947. And now uh, she's been living in Pensacola quite a long time. And uh, she'll be there to share this recipe with you on a weekend coming up soon at Brouhaha.